everyone. Welcome to Monday Devotionals. My name is Ken Berkey, and here we are. It's Thanksgiving week. Can you believe it's already getting to the end of the year? Ah, what a year it has been. I hope you were able to watch our services yesterday. If you didn't, you can still watch it on YouTube or Facebook. We talked about uh, what happens when life is overwhelming us, and we looked at an amazing story uh, about uh, how God is never overwhelmed. So uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, you can watch it. But today I want to read a scripture because it is Thanksgiving week. I think it's a powerful scripture on gratitude. Uh, Paul wrote in 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, he said something, he picked his language very carefully. He said, give thanks, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. He says, give thanks in all circumstances. Now, he didn't say, give thanks for all circumstances. But what Paul is writing, and Paul wrote quite a few times in different books in the New Testament, is that when we are grateful, even when we are going through problems, even when we are going through trials, it brings health. It brings perspective. In fact, gratitude is as you know, is, is, is the most powerful attitude in, in the world. It affects uh, positively, gratitude affects our health, our emotions, our soul, our relationships. So this week, as we enter into kind of an unprecedented holiday season, I mean, you know, with, with everything going on in the world, I would encourage all of us to give thanks in all circumstances, not for all circumstances, but in all circumstances, for this is God's will right now. God never promised to take us out of the storm. He said he would be with us through the storm. God never said he would take us out of the valley. He said he would walk through with us in the valleys. In fact, Paul said in Romans chapter 5, verses 3 through 4, he says, we can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. It's kind of this, we can be thankful even in the midst of trials. For we know they're good for us. I know they're good for us, Paul, but I don't like trials. I don't want problems. Make them go away. But he says they help us to learn patience. And Lord knows we all need patience. And patience develops strength of character. And it helps us to trust God more each time we are in a problem. And we use it finally until our gratitude brings us to a place where we finally find real hope, sustainable hope, and faith. He says it's a faith that is strong and steady. That's the kind of faith, that's kind of the life I think we all want, strong and steady. Well, it starts with giving thanks in all things. Not for all things, but in all things. And I bet you if we take the time this week, if we take the time this week to write down, even in the year 2020, all the things that we are thankful for, I bet you there are a lot of things that we will write down. You know, I'm, th I'm thankful and grateful in this year of a pandemic that I have drawn closer and deeper with some friendships, probably some friendships I've never had before in my life. I am grateful for that in this difficult time. I'm grateful during this year that I became a grandfather and my new name is Papa. You know, I, I, I'm thankful for even in the midst of all the worries and in the midst of all of the fears around us, and they're legitimate, many of them, not all, but many of them, I'm thankful that I can lean into a God who is always standing with me, who will never leave me nor forsake me. I encourage you to kind of go down that list. Good times and bad times, what are you grateful for? I am just grateful I am grateful for forgiveness, for eternal life, for eternal friends, and for eternal purposes as we get to serve and love and share with our neighbor. I'm grateful for our church that helped pack 500 Thanksgiving boxes at the Orangeville Food Bank. Yeah, we're not thankful that people are in need, but we're thankful that we can help people while they are in need. Again, I could go on and on, but uh, I just want to close with this. I, I, I have a blog uh, that gets uh, released every Tuesday on social media, Instagram, Facebook, 
all of those things. Uh, I have a blog, and, and if you've missed these blogs, you can go to our website, Live58, uh, Live58 Church. Go to our website, and there's a place uh, where you can read my blogs. And my blogs, I always want them to be hopeful, encouraging. Some of them are poems. Some of them are just writings. But I wrote this probably about three months ago, so it's actually on the Live58 blog now. But I want to close with this, and I want to pray. I, I just want to tell you I am praying, and I hope you have a blessed Thanksgiving, a safe one, but I hope you take some time, even in this crazy year, to be thankful in all things. So I wrote this, uh, and again, if you go to the blog, it's just called Grateful, but you know, I, I'm grateful for things that were, to look back, friendships that were secured and memories that have endured. I'm grateful for things right now that are, my healing scars, there's so much grace from afar. I'm grateful today, even in the midst of uncertainty, that things that will be, because the promise is sadness will be set free and there will be a new jubilee. I am grateful for the past because the past has brought precious times and the past has brought a purpose that has been recast. I'm grateful for the present right now, fully in the moment, it's time to reinvent right now. We're not going backwards, we're going forwards. I'm grateful for our future, friends, because what I am realizing is in the future, our priorities will be fewer and our wounds will find suture. I'm grateful for yesterday. I am. Oh, there were staggering miracles, yet it's a place we cannot stay. I'm grateful for today for eternal friends, life together, as grace leads our way. And I am grateful for tomorrow. There's a new faith, new ways, lifting up our broken sorrows. I pray this week, take the time, write it down, where you will just write down what you are grateful for, to be thankful in all circumstances, even the difficult ones, and there are some difficult ones right now. May God deeply, deeply bless you. Follow us this week and uh, leading up, and we will can't wait for next Sunday service, but Thursday, have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. And as Meister Eckhart, the great theologian said, I'll end with this. If the only prayer we said was thank you, that would be enough. God bless. Mm -hmm.